Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Now, I wanted to come on and share something with you that I just shared with one of my clients in one of my sessions. And she said, you have to share this with people. And so that's why I'm here. I wanted to share with you guys. How many of you guys feel like you're emotional? I will fall in that category as being an emotional person. And over my years, I have not been the best at managing them or talking about them. Imagine what happens when we don't talk about our emotions. Where does it go? I have an example I want to share with you guys, okay? Watch this. So imagine this is your body, this face, right? Look at this. I collect rocks, okay? So stick with me. This is a big rock that I got somewhere and I got all these other little rocks in here. And just imagine all of this in your, like this is your body. So you have this big old rock. Yeah, big old rock, because I'm country. <laughs> yeah, this big rock, y'all, that represents something heavy that happened in your life, a huge situation that may have happened, right? But you also have these medium-sized rocks, and you have these little rocks now. Imagine the little rocks may be different stresses that you have every day, piling up these different stresses. You don't have any coping strategy to release it. You just keep going on with your life. Keep going on. Keep pushing on. Because we're resilient people. We're just going to keep going on, keep going on, keep going on, right? And now, imagine you keep going on. See how it piles up. You see that? Right? Now, add this big old thing up on here. This thing is really heavy right now. It's heavier than what it was before with all of this. What happens to your body when you're holding all of this in? It makes you heavy. It makes your heart heavy. It leads to depression. It leads to anxiety. It leads to stress. It leads to heart issues, stomach issues, different physical symptoms that you may have when we, what? Keep it in. So how, what happens? How do we get rid of all of this? <laughs> you got to let it out. Notice I started off with the big one. Taking it out. Putting it out, right? And you just keep going on from the little one to the medium. You just keep going on from one situation to another situation, sharing about the situations and sharing about your emotions, what it made you feel, identifying what your emotions are. If you need to get one of those charts, download those charts, identify them. Even the small ones, you guys, just get it out. Because if we don't get it out, it just sits here in our hearts. If we don't get out the thoughts, it just sits here in our brains. And whatever happens in your thoughts lead to your hearts and lead to the behavior. You say, why am I so angry? Why am I yelling at everybody? Why am I so iterable? Because you haven't dealt with the issues that's in your heart. I hope this is helping somebody. I hope you guys look at this and check this out, right? Talk about it. Talk to a therapist. Talk to a pastor. But pastors are not trained like we're trained when you're dealing with depression and anxiety. Get a therapist that you can trust. If you have biblical foundation, you want to merge with clinical with biblical, I'm a pastoral counselor. Find a pastoral counselor. Find a counselor who has that merged into their clinic in their practice. But whatever it is you need to do to get it out, get it out. You know, like, you don't want to be like Erica Badu said, bad lady, carrying around all those bags. So it's time to release them. Everything that's going on in the society, we got to talk about it. Get the emotions out, all right? Love you guys. Check out my YouTube. Follow me on my YouTube page, Malika Miller. Follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and all those different things, okay?